in locations where two tracks join or divide, a turnout was installed. Being a mechanical device and with fixed geometry, their positioning in the concrete was critical. Turnouts were assembled into a single massive unit and usually poured in one shift. Up to 90 metres long when assembled, with 14 rails and over 150 concrete bearers and 20 tonne of reinforcing steel, it was expected that these units be in position to an accuracy of 2 millimetres in the most critical dimensions, with a maximum of 10 millimetres allowed in the overall position of their location compared to design set out. Integral wind-down spindles took the place of iron horses to provide height adjustment, while a mat of steel reinforcing meant the completed turnouts could not be readily moved either laterally or longitudinally prior to pouring. This meant pre-assembly accuracy was vital. The Hergie trolley was run over the assembly twice. Once after initial pre-assembly to bring the unit to within 5mm tolerance and then again on the day before the pour was scheduled to ensure the locational errors were not more than 2mm. After survey sign-off, a series of QA checks were made of the geometry and componentry of the turnout to record the situation before the concrete pour commenced. This was repeated immediately after the pour to confirm there had been no unexpected shift or movement during the pour itself. The rails and fastenings were wrapped in plastic to seal them from any stray concrete during the pour. The turnout concrete pours ran up to 14 hours from the arrival of the first truck to the departure of the last. With up to 44 trucks required and almost 200 cubic metres of concrete, each turnout pour was planned in advance to ensure the concrete batch plant could maintain a continuous supply and labour was ready and rostered for two long shifts. The day after each pour, the turnout crew returned to remove all protective plastic and bearer spindles and clean away any stray concrete. Firmly fixed in place, the units were now ready for mechanisms to be installed by other contractors.